This is TP-Link's Casa Spot and this is a wired indoor Wi-Fi camera and this is the 2K version. Is this going to be a good option for your home? Let's find out. Hello guys, Life Hackster here. Today we are going to check and review TP-Link's Casa Spot. This is an indoor wired Wi-Fi camera and this is the 2K version, model KC400. Thank you TP-Link for sending me this camera to be reviewed. We'll check out its features, do a quick unboxing, set it up, and check out its video and audio quality, and do some tests, and see if this affordable 2K indoor camera from TP-Link will be a good option for your home. Before we dive in, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you and I appreciate it. For features, one that stands out and is advertised by TP-Link is that this camera records 24-7 using a microSD card. A lot of other indoor Wi-Fi cameras have this feature too. But one thing with TP-Link is that when you insert a microSD card, the only recording option for it is continuous recording. All other indoor cameras defaults to record motion events and 24-7 is an option. Please note that the more cycles and recording and recording over will decrease the SD card's lifespan. This KC400 Casa Spa records in 2K quality, 2560 by 1440 pixel resolution at 15 frames per second. It has 850 nanometer infrared LEDs for night vision. These are visible red lights. I have to say this because they do market this camera for baby monitoring. Other cameras have 940 nanometer lights that are not visible to the naked eye. Live view, two-way talk, and compatible with Amazon Alex A and Google Home. It has smart person detection and also can detect sounds and also can detect a baby crying. Local and cloud storage. It records 24-7 to a microSD card and is compatible to up to a 256GB card. Now the cloud recording is optional but there are some features that will be missing if you opt for local recording and I'll tell you what they are later in the video. If you have seen my TP-Link Casa outdoor cam review, you already know what they are. I will link my review video on that model in the description down below if you haven't seen it yet. Inside the box, we have a quick start guide, we have a mounting template, a power adapter, 5 volts, 1 amp, and we have the camera. We have the camera lens, mic, status light, infrared LED somewhere here, and on the back we have the speaker. Here in the bottom, a micro USB port for power. The camera is attached to the base in a ball joint mount, and you can easily adjust the camera in any position. And we have a screw slots here for wall or ceiling install. On one side of the camera, we have the micro SD card slot and the reset switch. Let's set this up. First, I'll insert a microSD card. Open up the TP-Link app. Click the plus sign to add a camera. Choose cameras. Click Casa Spot. Plug in the camera. Go to your Wi-Fi settings and choose the Casa Spot's Wi-Fi. And go back to the app and choose the Wi-Fi network you are going to connect to. Type in your password and click Join. And wait until it is connected. We will place this in my living room and let's check out the settings in the app. When you open up the app, you will get to the devices list. Click on it to get to live view. And the live view loads up quick. In here, you can start two-way talk. And with cloud subscription, you'll be able to record the live view. And also with subscription, AI detected events will be shown here on the bottom. Click on the 24-7 recording if you want to see the recordings from the microSD card. There will be a timeline and underneath, thumbnails of AI person detected events are sorted out. Back to the live view, click on the gear icon to get to the camera settings, where we have detection and sensitivity. You can toggle person detection, on or off, and change the sensitivity from 1 to 10. And there is also an option to record motion that lasts from 0.1 seconds to 5 seconds. This is also where you can toggle sound detection, on or off, and also to detect baby crying, and you can adjust the sensitivity from here. 24-7 recording, you can toggle it on or off, and you will see the available storage, and you can format the card from here. Notifications, you can set this to be notified when person has been detected or if the camera hears a baby crying. We also have activity zones, and you can have up to four zones. Then we have video quality, rotate image for ceiling install, and night vision settings. Let's do some testing. So this is the video and audio quality of TP-Link's Casa Spot, the 2K version. And this is in daytime and my blinds are open. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the camera. And this is what it looks like when I'm about 20 feet away from the camera.
and this is the video quality of the Casa Spot and this time in daytime still but my blinds are closed and this is how I set up the house especially when nobody is at home and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the camera and this is what it looks like when I'm about 20 feet away from the camera This is the video quality of the Casa Spot and it is at night and I have uh, my lights on and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the camera and this is what it looks like when I'm about 20 feet away from the camera. This is the video quality of the Casa Spot at night and this uh, no lights and I can see five infrared LEDs and it's in a night vision mode and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the camera and this is what it looks like when I'm about 20 feet away from the camera we are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the CASA spot and I'm on my LTE connection and it is 1142. I also have the cloud recording and I will get rich notifications on this one. There you go. So when you, I click and hold, you'll see a thumbnail and you have an option to view the clip or watch the live view. So when I click on it, it should load up the live view and loads up decently quick and it just turned 11.43, so let's see what the notification cool-off would be. There you go, so less than a minute notification cool-off. Cool. Audio quality coming out from TP-Link's CASA Spot. This is the audio quality coming out from TP-Link's CASA Spot. Show me Casa Spot. Okay. Show me Casa Spot. Hmm. Cool. Okay. Stream Casa Spot in Google Hub. Sure, streaming Casa Spot on Google Hub. That loads up pretty quick. So what do you think? Video and audio quality are pretty good. There are some things though that you need to know if you're not subscribed to their cloud recordings, which is optional. All the security features of the camera works without subscription, and it will just record continuously 24-7 to the micro SD card that you install. The AI person detection also works, two-way talk, live view, and other stated features. But if you want to download the footage to your phone, there is no option for that. You will need to remove the micro SD card, plug it in your computer, and download it from there. Or you can also do a screen recording on your phone. It will just not be the full resolution footage. You can only download from the app to your phone footages from the cloud recordings. If you're just watching it in your phone, I like that TP-Link at least sorted out person detected events from the timeline. So it is easy for you to search for the footage. Also, you will not get rich notifications and recording of the live view will also be disabled if you're not subscribed. Not really a biggie though as long as the security features of the camera works. And also for the price, this is still a good option. Baby crying detection is pretty spot on and this can be a good baby monitor. I wish they opted for infrared LEDs that are barely visible. Also, this camera doesn't have a siren or alarm which a lot of other indoor cameras have. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.